سبحان الله عما يشركون He lived in Kufa and Kufa was a very dynamic place. Many of the deviant sects were in Kufa and every day there was a new deviant sect. Imam Abu Hanifa's own neighbor was a Shia. And this Shia had two donkeys. And Abu Billah he named one Abu Bakr and he named the other one Umar. And what happened is one day that this donkey kicked him and it killed him. And they told Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Abu Hanifa said go and see I can guarantee you the donkey that kicked him and killed him was the one that he named Umar And he became a master in this science he mentioned himself more than 20 times he went to Basra to debate and learn this science until none of the deviant sects would debate with him the Qadriya the Jabariya The Khwariz, the Mu'tazalais, the Shias, none of them would debate with him. And he himself says that wherever I would go, people would say, this is Imam Abu Hanifa. They would point the finger at me and they say, this is the man. Nobody can debate with him. When the atheists came to Kufa, who did the governor of Kufa look for? He looked for Imam Abu Hanifa to debate with him. Because he was a man who would rise to the challenge. The problem today is, is that we don't have any Abu Hanifas. We don't have anybody who can challenge all the deviant, not just Islamic, but all other man-made philosophies. We don't have this. And the governor arranged this debate and thousands of people were there. And the atheist is there and there's no sign of Imam Abu Hanifa. So they started saying, you know, he's bottled it. He ain't gonna turn up. And after a very long time, Imam Abu Hanifa turned up and the atheist said, Why are you so late for? What kind of Muslim are you? You were given a time. Why didn't you come on time? Imam Abu Hanifa should have said, I'm a, I'm a Pakistani Muslim. I'm always late. And Imam Abu Hanifa said, I apologize. But I have an excuse, a valid excuse. Between my house and this place, there's a river. And what happened is when I reached the river, there was no boat. So I waited for a very long time, no boat. And then all of a sudden, what do I see? A tree falls down all by itself. It cuts up into planks. It forms a boat. It comes to me. I jump in it and all by itself, it takes me across. The atheist said, what a load of hocus pocus. Imam Abu Hanifa said, game over, debate finished. He said, what do you mean debate finished? The debate hasn't even started. And Imam Abu Hanifa rahimullah said, if a boat cannot come into being without a creator and a maker, how do you think the heavens and the earth, the seas and the trees, the birds and the bees came into being without a creator? And this was Imam Abu Hanifa by the age of 20, In this science, Imam Abu Hanifa had a halaqa in the largest masjid in Kufa.